It's Miss Denise and Hazel from Aaron Public Library and welcome to Flipping for Kiddos. Well today we are going to be making apple crisp because it's September, it's apple season and so we thought this would be a fun thing to do. This is what it looks like as you can see we've already sampled our ours just a little bit so <laughs> it was pretty good right yeah. <laughs> okay so we're all set to get started hands washed counters wiped off we're set to go this is what you're going to need this is about six cups of apples peeled and sliced a half a cup of white sugar oh, about a teaspoon or so of lemon juice A teaspoon or maybe a little more if you really like cinnamon and that's that's just for the apple mixture for the topping we're going to need three no that's one cup of brown sugar three quarters of a cup of oats and these are just the instant the quick oats three quarters of a cup of just plain white all-purpose flour, a good pinch of kosher salt, more cinnamon, again, about a teaspoon, and a half a cup of butter melted. All right, so we're ready to get started. We're gonna do the, the toppy, uh, the apples first. So we're ready. Hazel, you wanna put the sugar in? Okay. Alrighty. And just put a little bit of lemon juice in. Yeah, a little more. Yeah, more. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. And should we do, you know what? Let's just kind of eyeball the cinnamon. Because yeah. I think we're going to do more than one teaspoon anyway. You want to start shaking? Ready? Okay. Tell me when to stop. Oh, more. We need more. Okay. It's not coming out. There. I, I think that's coming out. Good. Here. You mix. Okay. Oh, I'll do one more. Yeah, why not? Because we like cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't like cinnamon? You want to mix this all together. Get the apples coated nicely with all that sugar, lemon juice, and cinnamon. And they're going to go into the bottom of a nine by nine pan that's already been buttered. How's that looking pretty good? Yeah. I think they're pretty well coated. What do you think? Okay. Yep, that's all right. You wanna start scooping them into the pan? Okay. We'll do them together. And the reason these apples are a little bit brown to begin with is because I peeled and sliced them and had a time and froze them. But the brown is okay because we want them to look cinnamony. Okay. Oh, we missed yeah. some. Okay, let's get them nice and even. Okay, now we're, we're gonna put that aside. Oh, here, just put it in. And we're gonna start three quarters of a cup of oats. This is for the topping. There we go. Three quarters of a cup of all purpose flour. One cup of brown sugar. Oh, <laughs> that went in easy, huh? Yep. Of course, we said we need more cinnamon. You ready? Yep. You tell me when you think it's enough. I'll start sprinkling. You tell me. Is that, that good? Like, yeah. That looks that good. Looks like okay. Good and we need a pinch of kosher salt. Let's do a good pinch. Oh, because this is unsalted butter we're going to be using. Let's do a little more. I think even a little more. Another pinch. Looking good, Hazel. Yeah. Okay. And let's mix all this up. 
Oops. mix it all together. Oops, some of that white sugar is a little lumpy so that it's easier when we pour the butter on top. We have one stick or a half a cup of melted butter. And we're gonna mix all of this together and sprinkle it right on top of our apples. And then they will go in a 350 degree oven for about 45 to 50 minutes to bake until they look like this. Okay, I'm gonna pour the butter. You wanna to start to mix? Okay. And we can even use our fingers if we if we feel like it. Yeah. There we go. Ooh, looking good. Yeah. We want to try and get it all coated and moist. I feel like this would just be good eating straight. Though. <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's even better after you bake it. Okay. Looks pretty good. What do you think? I think we should use our fingers to sprinkle it on the top. Are you ready? Yep. Let's use our fingers. Just sprinkle it. Like so. All over. I'm just going to pick it up with my fingers. Get it nicely coated. In all the corners. And this topping is so nice and crunchy. Okay, I'm just going to start dumping it, and yeah. then we have to pat it down. Okay. All right. So let's pat it. We can use our fingers. Our hands are clean. Yeah. And into the oven at 350 degrees for 45 to 50 minutes till it looks like this. Well, we hope you like this recipe. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.